Rosso, and uh, we are in a special uh, segment of the Night Shift Body Art Talk. Usually I do these with uh, girls that have painted past via Zoom. But I was like, you know what, I also painted people in the same city that still live here. So I was like, hey, you want to come on and be on the Body Art Talk? Because you know how you qualify to get in, right? Oh, you have to have been body painted before? Fine. Okay. Fine. <laughs> so I made the cut. Yeah. Yes, so this is my friend Danny, and Danny is a new fellow YouTuber. And when I found that out, I reached out to her and I was like, hey man, I need you on my show because A, I body painted you before, so that already, you already meet the criteria. And two, it's cool to have another YouTuber in the Dallas area. So hey, uh, introduce yourself. Danny, local Dallas-based go-go dancer, pole dancer. I do a lot of things. Multi-faceted multi being. <laughs> and that's cool because I feel like that's me as well. You get more joy and more excitement when you do a mix of things versus the one thing because I always get bored. Me too. Like, wait, what sign are you? Pisces. Okay, I'm a Sagittarius. <laughs> wait, I never met Sagittarius. What are they known for? Getting bored really easily, having a lot of hobbies, being really adventurous, hobbies? like hobbies? taking interest in like different hobbies and then getting bored. And it sounds like a good hobbies. Tinder description too. <laughs> Adventurous, like yes. multiple hobbies, Spontaneous. get bored easily. <laughs> <laughs> so, Danny and I met one time before this, and we, you know, did DMs here and there, but as far as physically known each other, this would be the second time. Last time we saw each other, and we were just discussing this. It was the last body painting gig I did before the pandemic. True story. You and your Me friend. Too, I guess. Yeah, so, so you and your friend were the last girl that I painted right before the pandemic happened and everything shut down. And so I think it's funny because you were literally the last thing I painted. And then even pandemic, I did sneak one in. Uh, it was the cyborg piece, the, the Westworld one. I think so. I did that during the pandemic, and my friend was like, "Hey, we should probably wait because this one like it was really thick, and we didn't know about uh, or anything." Yeah, like, like freak people oh, out. Yeah, be like, oh no, that we were social distancing. That too. A yeah. lot of people are getting like super mad about that. Oh yeah, this was like in March, so like this is like a big yeah. thing. Like, like we don't know anything. We don't know about Wuhan. We know nothing. So we're going off tangent, but I'm gonna bring it back. I'm gonna bring it back. So the body art talk. Uh, we're gonna do something a little different. You know, I'm gonna do a little interview slash little paint session. We're gonna keep it light. Uh, first of all, Danny, tell us a little bit about yourself. I know you mentioned a little bit about your go-go. Just kind of start us like, where did you start? How long have you been doing it? And what's what's the inspiration? I'm 27 years old and I've been a professional performer for about 10 years now. Started when I was 17 years old. Nice. And I was really inspired by just watching other performers like at festivals and stuff. A really memorable moment for me was when I went to EDC Las Vegas and I saw all the performers on stage and I was like, oh my God, I wish, I wish that was me. That will be me one day. And then it actually happened. There you go. Mm -hmm. So have you always like, liked to dance when you were a kid? Like, was yes. that just a thing you were saying? I did, but I was really, really shy and I'm really bad at choreography. And then once I did solos, I realized I'm a really good freestyle dancer. Okay. And go-go dancing is just, you know, freestyling. You go with the, whatever's playing. Yeah. So it's always switching up. So I was like, this is the perfect job for me because I like freestyle dancing. I'm terrible at choreography. But and I must imagine like, because you look like you're in great shape. So like, that's like the workout. So oh yeah, that definitely keeps me in shape. Because <laughs> how long are y'all dancing for? Mm, it really ranges, but anywhere from like two to four hours. Two to four hours, and just nonstop. Nonstop, minimal breaks. So have you, you have ever to have like try a to like figure out how many calories you go through? I used to have like a little For Apple bit. Watch, and uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah we had a lot of calories. <laughs> You're like, crazy. I need to stop watching. Like, this it's is crazy. Like, I'm about to I'd hurt be myself. So hungry after work. <laughs> <laughs> when I met her, I met her and her best friend, um, and I painted them. For a was it a safari? It was like a safari themed. Okay. Right? Yeah. Yeah, and as we're talking about it, I'm ins I'll be inserting them. Um, I was it, a tiger. Yeah, 
Wait, you were the tiger, yeah. Yeah, and my friend was the leopard or cheetah, right? Like, yeah. I'm a cheetah, because she's like, look at me, I'm a cheetah. That was the first time you and I met, and even though you've been body painted by others, which is funny because it's such a small world because you've been in the industry for a long time, and I too have been in the industry for a long time, and we never crossed paths. I know, I think kinda, that's crazy. It is crazy because there's not a lot of, well, back then, not really. I think everyone's trying to be either a photographer or body painter or everything. You're like one of the two body painters that I know. <laughs> You're almost Jared, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know and Jared. And that's it. That's because I've done so the only two that I know. Which Jared shot to Jared? Uh, detox. No, that's good because that means you got a good experience. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you hear some horror stories about. Oh wait. Oh wait, never mind. No, nothing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what started the YouTube channel? Like, what do you mean? I just found out you're a YouTuber, <laughs> right? mm -hmm. and you just started. She just dropped her second video, so when y'all see this, make sure you go like and subscribe, and smash that like button, and that notification button for all the future content. What started it? Like, what made it? Like, because, and you know this already. Someone can say, I'm gonna start a YouTube channel, I'm gonna start a YouTube channel, and never start a YouTube channel. I think that's what I had did too for like, Literally like two years I wanted to start a channel, but I was like, oh, I don't have enough time. I don't know how to edit. Like this seems like a lot of work and it really is a lot of work. But I just finally did it. I was like, you know what? I've been wanting to do this for a long time. I'm going to do it. I really love watching other YouTubers and yeah, I just got inspired. And like I said, I like to partake in a lot of different hobbies and YouTube has been my hobby lately. <laughs> What better way to like partake in more of hobby than to become a creator and start showcasing because you do have an interesting lifestyle, you know, like we are talking about that earlier as well that, you know, what you do, what I do, like it's not the normal thing, but I could see how to us the, it's normal. Yeah, it's it's normal. our normal. It's like Monday, you know, like, yeah. It really is a Monday, y'all. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> this is the kind of stuff we be doing. And um, so, so, okay, so that all being said, what's, what's the goal, what's the plan, what's the whole Tell, tell me about your channel, first of all. Um, right now, I've just been doing mostly go-go vlogs because I love watching vlogs and I love okay. just people seeing my real life, especially go-go dancing because people ask me all the time, like, what is that? How is that? People are just really curious when I tell them that I'm a go-go dancer, so I figured that I would show them firsthand what it's like to be a go-go dancer. But I definitely want to do other stuff too, like things that interest me, like beauty, art, fitness, um, finances. I like finances too. Ooh, yeah. yeah. What kind of finances? <laughs> Mostly just like investing. Like I've been really in into investing lately, like stocks and crypto. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I guess you and I will get along. Yeah. Uh, I'm also an investor. I didn't know that. Yeah. I'm guessing you're holding too? Mm-hmm. Oh my God, did you? Ooh. I, yeah, I actually bought some more today. Oh, well, yes. Probably a good time, <laughs> time. to buy, but. Okay. No, it really is. If you, if you don't buy now, you'll regret it later. Literally, look at just a year's growth. It's insane. Oh, no, I know. Insane. Dude, I just went through a crazy thing. So I have a couple of wallets and I almost lost one of them. Like when I was purchasing a thing, it idled out. I didn't get it. They charged me and all of a sudden, like my bank got involved and they Mm -hmm. Took my wallet. Like, there's, <laughs> there's, there's a lot in that wallet, and it was right during the oh, SNL Lord. and all that stuff. I couldn't even touch it. Oh no! Oh yeah, yeah. So you can only imagine like the photo <laughs> fucking foaming, yes. dude. I was like, <laughs> oof. Uh, one of the you know brokers that I have is Robinhood, and they're notorious for like pulling some sketchy stuff, especially during, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yes. So that's who I have right now. But then for crypto, I've uh, recently got Voyager yep. and they give you interest too. Okay, well, here, let's, let's see. I'll, I'll show you my, my little game. Oh, we're both nerds, I love it. I got <laughs> this one and then I got on my desktop, I got Kraken. Nice. So. I'm just Robin Hood and Voyager right now. And then I also have a money market. What is that? It's like kind of like a savings account, but you earn interest, kind of like a high yield savings account. And that's not staking, or that's not. Mm, there's so many different things, honestly. Yeah. 
I could talk all day about like different. I know that that could be its own. <laughs> yes, ideas. A brew. I, I always thought about like when it was getting really hot. I have a cousin that's really like really into it, and I was like, I should just go live, even though it's not a crypto channel, but I could just have an expert just. Mm -hmm. I might do that one day. You should. Like, I'd see what happens. Would you? And it's good too. Would, would y'all tune in? Leave That's comments. the real question. Leave yeah. Comments on. Would you? Okay, check this out. Would you tune in if I had her over? Maybe not so much my crazy cousin. <laughs> and we need the crazy. And have you like maybe painted or something or do something fun? Oh my god! Dogs. Can you please paint the Doge the Doge coin dog on me? That would be oh. so funny and that would go viral. Well, <laughs> oh, did we do that today? Yes. You want to do a Doge? Yes. Please. All right. Yes. Well, pick out the new one. Alright, meantime, I'm gonna pause this and charge some batteries. Yo, 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 yo. Alright, we're back, we're back. Type of food What's your favorite type of food? <laughs> Mine is Mexican food. Hmm, where were you born? Dallas, Texas. You were? Yeah, good old Parkland. Okay. It's a Parkland baby. Mm. But you said you went to school in Missouri? College. Sorry. So my parents. So I never saw art school nor school college in my future. Uh, my parents uh, moved here when we were 23. Well, my dad was here 15, then my mom moved here 23 with my mom back. Had us first generation. My sister uh, ended up going to Booker T. Washington first. She's older than me, and she ended up getting a scholarship and being the first one to go to college for theater. And when it was my time to go to like school, I went to private school before that, Catholic at that. And I used to get in trouble by the nuns a lot. Because mm. I always be joining class. Uh, and my mom would always get called into the principal's office. And be like, where did you draw this time? You drew the Jesus fighting the devil during religion class. I think that's so mean that you get in trouble for that though. I feel like they should be like encouraging or like embracing you know, kids' gifts. This was like in the 90s. Back then, they had real nuns as teachers. Mm -hmm. So they, they Did like I spank you and stuff? Paddle. Ah! I missed the cutoff though. Uh, like my sisters got the last of it, but they come from that school of thought. So oh, from there, Literally. my sister was like, hey, because uh, my parents were trying to kick me to go to a private high school. So my parents, my sister was like, hey, uh, she just graduated and she's about to go to college. And she's like, hey, I think you need to come here. And I'm like, why? Well, like, because you're pretty good at drawing and you're always getting in trouble for doing it. Why not get good grades? Like, what do you mean? Right. Like, like, yeah. Logic. Like, that, that's, like, I know, I, I'm so stupid. Like, what do you mean? Like, <laughs> she's like, basically, you do this, but you did A plus. She rudimentary broke it down. Like, I was like, what? And did that. Got a scholarship because I didn't realize I was building a portfolio yeah. for those four years. Got into That's some awesome. pretty cool schools and ended up going with uh, Kansas City because they all the most. At the time, it was ranked number three for undergrad. So it's kind of weird hanging out with these trustman kids. And, yeah. And, like, I'm broke as fuck. <laughs> 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 like, we gotta go to Cabo with my parents. We gotta resort. Like, cool. See you. You're like, parents. can't relate. <laughs> can't relate. Got real life issues. <laughs> I got That's like funny. first generation Mexican American problems. But yeah, no, so I feel like art has opened the doors for me a lot. Um, that's something that a lot of people don't know is that the reason I like art is because it's <clears> opened <throat> a lot of, it's broken a lot of boundaries, it's opened a lot of opportunities. And I don't know, man, I was, it's always been my thing. That's awesome. That's inspiring. I always uh, tell people, like, they're like, how did you start drawing? I'm like, well, so my mom says, we grew up, you know, very near means. My mom didn't see value in toys. So what my mom started doing is she started buying me crayons and paper, and that was my toy. Oh, okay. And that's kind of how I found out. Huh. That's why I, I started at 15. I've been doing this since 15, I'm 36. I've been doing this for like 20 years. I can't not. <laughs> and the uh, foundation they were so I was and crayons and painted <laughs> A big imagination. Yeah, 
so like and the doors that it opened and that's the thing that's the cool thing about art is like you don't need to get a degree that's why i left yeah. i didn't realize how good my high school was until i went to art uh, college like the top schools that they always talk about and it's like i felt like i was watching a reader every day oh wait i've seen this i don't know this big life mm -hmm. this, this is my boss major but i'm not seen that you know, college man like i don't think you need to go nowadays i think honestly i agree with you i think it's a lost art yeah it doesn't apply because every i didn't even go to college for what i'm doing Really. Yeah, you said you're self-taught and honestly, I've self-taught a lot of things that I know how to do. When you see that, it kind of makes you wonder, okay, well, what if I focus on this area versus this? And then it's like, okay, then it gets really interesting. Oh, well, we're at 21.21. Dogecoin is good. climbing up, back up. All right, guys, getting a live feed. Uh, by the time I see this, do not, this is not real time. <laughs> don't, yeah, don't. they're going to be like, what? <laughs> I gotta buy, I gotta what's, send. What's, what's today, the, today's date? It is the 21st. How long have you been in crypto? Um, I want to know how I got into it. <laughs> My ex-boyfriend at the time, well, boyfriend at the time, now ex-boyfriend, we were uh, just like out drinking and he was like, you, like just like a madman telling me about crypto and like, I was like, I have no idea what you're talking about, bro. But he just kept pushing me to buy some, and I was like, oh, okay, whatever, I'll buy some for you, shut up. And I left it alone, and then like, I think six months later is when it had popped off, and I was like, wow, cool, thanks for, you know, telling me about this, and I sold, and then I rebought. I wish, I really wish I wouldn't have sold. <laughs> but, lesson learned. Aside from crypto and go-going, when you're not dancing on the pole when you're leaving, <laughs> <laughs> what else do you like to do? Uh, I really like gaming. Okay. I like gaming, reading. So you're a Twitch, you a Twitcher? Yes, I do. Is that how you say it? A Twitcher. A Twitch streamer? A Twitch, Twitch streamer, oh, yeah. <laughs> I like Twitcher better though. That sounds cooler. <laughs> I'm a way with words sometimes. Just... I'm a Twitcher. Twitcher. And uh, how long have you been doing that? Actually, I started that in when the pandemic started because I was like, I'm gonna have to find, you know, ways to make money from home. So I started doing live streams on Twitch from home. Really? Mm-hmm. And it's really fun. So when that pandemic happened, I was doing this international meeting with the surgeon. Literally, his meeting was like, well, he had like 400 passing surgeons from around the world. As things are thickening, he was the week of his meeting. It was like a four-day thing, and like, they're like saying that if you now go back to your country, you have to do two weeks of uh, quarantine. And then they're saying they seen Brazilians having an outbreak, and we have people from Brazil. We're all looking at people from Brazil, like, <laughs> and um, it's just so crazy because now we're here, Moderna, Pfizer, JJ, whatever, and it's like I haven't been that long. I haven't been that long, and that was right? all that happened. And that was before. It feels the, way longer, right? And all that happened, that was the last time I saw you. It was right before that. Yeah. And now we're here. With, Crazy. With some crypto art. <laughs> now look at us. Look at us, yeah. <laughs> okay, earlier you had mentioned that you were, quote, a starving artist. And I want to know how you kept okay. motivation and kept the inspiration to keep going. Okay, so um, I have a theory about success, and I haven't met the level that I want for myself in, but I have tasted and seen upon other successful people, like the common denominator, even like the good stories, like the rags and riches or like the adversity ones. And the one thing I always said, okay, if you have a good product, if you have talent, if you have something going for you and it still doesn't pan out, it's not that it didn't pan out, it's the fact that you quit before the opportunity presented itself. Because sometimes it's about does it say, look, it's time for preparation, right? Mm -hmm. Well, when my opportunities came, I was prepared. Because you know, all this whole time, I've been sharpening my sword that is my art. And I feel like that's with anything. Like, if you're really passionate about what you do and whatever company you may work for or have, I think success is not only like believing yourself and willing to double down and bet on yourself, but I think it's also the willingness to like sacrifice everything and ride it out until that opportunity comes because 
there's been so many opportunities where I've seen people miss the opportunity and they walked away like by a week. Like, ah, yeah. oh, dude, you're shot. And that almost happened to me too. Mm -hmm. And my family was like, when I was at my hardest, like, I had to choose who to eat between me and my dog. And of course, my dog was eating. Like, that's how much I wanted it. Like, yeah. all my bills are due the next day. I don't know how I'm going to do it. And I want to do this with art, money. Like, psh. Like, so you know, I started getting comfortable and back against the wall, getting more creative and realized, oh, wait, it's an art game. You, you can't just do one thing. You have to do multiple things. And that's mm -hmm. when I was realizing, okay, I can do this, I can do that, I can do this. And you know, I start formulating. It's like, okay, this is like a steady thing. But what kept me going is that I have dedicated my whole life since I was 15 to this. What else am I going to do? And if I can't do this, then I have failed at life. And Jeez. I, yeah. <laughs> That's dark. <laughs> it's well, well, you know, intense, yeah. Well, you know, well, I'm an artist. It's kind of weird. <laughs> it is, in art, I always had people making fun of me. Like, not me, just the idea. Like, oh, like people I haven't seen in forever. Oh, like still, doubting still, you. Still doing, still doing that art hobby thing? I hate when people call it that thing. Still doing your little. Yeah, yeah thing. My, niece, my niece does art too. She's really good. She's not, she said it. <laughs> she finger paints all the time with a finger. The so that 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 <laughs> if you're in the arts and you are passionate and you get this kind of like, treatment, then you already know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna explain this because mm -hmm. you already said, "Oh, I hate when that happens." Yes. So it tells me you have little thing. You have your own story, <laughs> but that, that's what it is. It's passion. It's not that it's dark. It's like I'm passionate about what I do. Yeah. Well, that's good that you feel that like those hard times fueled you to just even keep going and do better. Exactly. Yeah, because like you have to learn from like you're not evolving if you're not looking back and, and you're growing and you're changing things like because then if you're not changing and doing the same thing then that's the definition of insanity. Mm -hmm. You're doing the same thing and expecting a different result. But you're not asking it what's to come you know I'm gonna why aren't things changing. It's like, yeah. Oh it's me. Oh shit. Yeah. This is true. What's the end game to go? What, what's gonna be? Um, <clears throat> are we, are thinking, we looking at it right now? Is this it? Are you gonna become a YouTuber? I've been thinking about that lately because like I said, I am getting older. Um, dancing, I dance I want to say like two to three, sometimes even four times a week and it's not easy on your body on top of everything else that I do. So it's like physically, I know that I'm gonna have to, I'm not gonna be cute and you know, physically able to handle that forever so I'm trying to just find other um, sources of income and outlets I would maybe like to start teaching like transition into teaching and I've been doing a lot of pole and aerial stuff I, I would know, love to teach I that I know someone who owns a studio oh, cool. yeah yeah I, 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 for some reason body painting and circus and pole painting it going. goes hand in hand, yeah. I, I met a lot of those people in my, in my early days. I, um, but yeah, no, uh, <clears throat> people make businesses out of it now. Yeah. That's all feasible. It's just kind of like, what direction do you want to go? What's the next step? And it's not something you have to answer now, but I'm saying it's like, you know, as we get older, I ask these things myself also. Like, all right, this is the path that I can stay on for the rest of my life. Cool, all right, just double check. And it's like, before I keep investing in business, mm -hmm. investing in business. I don't want to like, as you get older, you value your time. Mm -hmm. You're like, I don't want to invest this energy if this time didn't mean much. Yeah. So. I think you, like you said too, you're like, I've been, you've been an artist so long, like, this is all I know. Like, where do I go from, I can, I would never be able to work a normal job. All I know is my life is just going to keep getting weirder and weirder, weirder and weirder. Um, I'm always going to do something art related or dance related. That's all I know. That's all you know. Maybe I just won't be the one performing, but maybe teaching, managing, or... There's you know, maybe thing. I'll be rich off of Dogecoin. <laughs> there you go, you just be a little crypto I'll be a millionaire. crypto millionaire. <laughs> always wearing go-go like, items, even though you're not go go anymore. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like the ideal in, life for in me. In the studio, get painted by Drew, so...
This has been a very special edition of the Night Shift Body Art Talk. As you can see, we did a little tribute and homage to Dogecoin. And it turned out pretty, pretty freaking dope if you ask me. Um, yeah, I think you, you rock it pretty well. You know, I think that today's mission was accomplished and I just want to say thank you so much for coming and doing this. I want to do more of this. I feel like we could do some more cool this things. and switch the themes up. Mm -hmm. uh, Thanks for having me. Yeah, definitely. And uh, one more time, uh, just let everyone know where they can find you. Let it rip. You can find me on Instagram at dannydoll underscore exo. I'm also on Twitch, dannydoll exo. And YouTube, dannydoll. Alright, so you heard that, guys. Another, I announced it, but I'm announcing it again. So my vanity show is going to be in October 1st at the Lorenzo Hotel, which you're invited. You might have Yay! something free to do there as well. As I'm making these videos, I'll be keeping you posted, but now that I have a concrete date, uh, we're looking at October, so I'm going to be dropping content both on this channel and my art channel because I'm going to be doing different variations of medium, so whatever pertains to the art channel, we'll go there, whatever pertains to the body, we'll go here. And also, if you haven't, please go and uh, subscribe to my Patreon. I am building up my library and I'm going to have some cool stuff coming soon, but um, I already have some stuff up there. Just know that that helps support this. All of this costs money. <laughs> money like, you know how much? 18 bucks. Let's just go. Sheesh. Yeah. So, just if you're a fan of the art, you want to support, you're a fan of what I do, man, subscribe. Do what you can, do what you can. If not, enjoy either way. But um, I think that this is it for today. Uh, next time, I don't know, I might bring something different. You, know, you never know. But. Please make sure to go to her channel, like and subscribe, and uh, get her YouTube going, guys. Once again, that's a wrap. We're out. Bye. <laughs> See you. Another Wednesday. Normal.